I've already taken out one of the audience members. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? I'm just going to continuously apologize. Because as a woman, that's what I've been trained to do. So. <laughs> how amazing it is to share this stage with a whole bunch of kick-ass women. Can I have a round of applause? <laughs> Thank you so much for letting me be up here. Because usually, like, I don't know if y'all go to comedy much, but uh, it's a bit of a sausage fest. Uh, they sprinkle, like, a female here and there for effect. Uh, bonus points if you're ethnic. <laughs> Double bonus if you're a woman of colour. <laughs> and one laugh. We'll wipe that out. No, it's awesome, you guys. I mean, it's just, it's really cool. Like, like So said, I've got a show coming up at the Sydney Comedy Festival. Uh, my first show at this particular festival, and I'll plug it later because I can't be stuffed now, and I've got it in like 10 minutes set. Uh, but it's about adulting. Um, and it's just... When I was a kid, I used to look at people that were like 20 years old, I'm like, when I get to 20, man, I'm going to have my whole life sorted out. <laughs> I'm going to have my shit together. I'm going to buy my own Cokes. I put plural because if you say just one Coke, then it leads to a completely different conversation. <laughs> but like, I looked up the definition of adult, and in the dictionary, it just says fully grown or fully developed. If I go by that definition, that means I was an adult at 11. <laughs> <laughs> this, I peaked here. Uh, can I just say also how cute these cups are? A little cup for a little person? Like, this is perfect. I might become like six drink alley and just swipe it on my way out. <laughs> they won't notice it, it's tiny. <laughs> no, but seriously guys, I peaked at 11. Um, I didn't know that at the time, but I got to this height and apparently I just stopped growing and then these bad boys came out at 11. This came out at 11. And I like, I got told to walk with my back straight, so I kept walking like, like this and my boobs were everywhere. I was knocking things over left, right, center because everything was chest high. Whoa. Sorry, Terry. Keep in mind. <laughs> I went from being able to do ballet classes at like the perfect plie, and then my teacher was like, you gotta tuck your butt in. And I'm like, listen lady, I don't know if you know what a Macedonian 11 year old looks like, but uh, <laughs> I can't tuck this in. <laughs> so I stick my pelvis out to compensate, and she's like, tuck it in. I'm like, it just doesn't work, you know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like when you, when you grow up, it's mostly just realizations. Like for example, I realize now, instead of finishing off an email with see you later, C-Y-A-L-A-R, I have to say kind regards. And I sound like the biggest douche, like kind regards, Macadonka. And I'm on email back like, fuck off. I know who you are. I came to a realization that my bed sheets don't clean themselves. <laughs> I moved out last year and then I had to like remember all this random shit like what day the bins get taken. Fucking annoying, like how do you, how do you cope? <laughs> like you got so many things to remember, like I got bills paid to pay now, like just so much shit to remember and I just I just don't know how to cope, you know, I'm really struggling. <laughs> and it's harder to meet people when you're older as well, like I realise I've become s s like socially, I can't even words now, like I just, I can't <laughs> meet people. Do you know what I mean? Like you say hello to, to a human <laughs> and then they say hello back, you ask them how they are, they say good, ask you the same thing, you say good, <laughs> and you walk away and never look back. <laughs> I feel like 
<laughs> Becoming an adult, I know it's true. <laughs> I wouldn't have said it if it wasn't, so. Is your toe okay? I'm so sorry. <laughs> so sorry. I feel like, ad like becoming an adult in Australia, uh, as an Australian, I'm generalizing here, okay? So don't, no one get offended, all right? Because I will start crying on this stage, I swear to God. <laughs> um, sensitive. <laughs> so becoming like an adult in Australia, I feel like you turn 18, it's like, fuck off mum and dad, I'm gonna move to Sydney and pay $400 for a shoebox, might even get a tattoo, what are you gonna do about that, mum? <laughs> I'm Macedonian, so if I even cuss at my mom, she'll look at me and my mouth will start bleeding. Uh, my parents just assumed that I'd live with them until I got married. Like, there's no, that, that's an ethnic thing, I think, as well. It might not just be Macedonians. Just gonna broaden the horizon here. But it's like, when I told my parents uh, that I was moving out, they were a little bit shocked. Uh, they were a little bit upset at me. And my mom all of a sudden just starts cooking all my favorite meals. <laughs> like every day, she put the plate in front of me. She's like, "You're not going to have that one when you move out." <laughs> it's like my clothes are all folded in my drawer. I'm just like, "You're not gonna fold your clothes like this when you move out." <laughs> Get out of my closet, you don't know what's in there. I don't know what's in there. <laughs> no, but it's trippy, because like, I remember when I was at uni and we just turned 18. I'm 27 now, by the way, just so, in case. I know how it was, I haven't changed. <laughs> but I, like, I turned 18 and my friends were like, you know, either moving out of their house or, this is a foreign concept to me, by the way, I'm still trying to get over it. Their parents started charging them rent <laughs> to live in the same house <laughs> they've been living in their whole life to stay in the same room they've been sleeping in every single night until that point in time <laughs> if my parents asked me for rent I would have become a crack addict to spite them <laughs> But I thought I'd be the bigger person and I went up to my parents one time and my parents are jokers, right? Like they never let me have feelings anyway because they always tease me about stuff. And that's why I block myself off emotionally from the rest of the world now. So I go up to my parents and I'm like, hey mom, we're in the kitchen, that's where we have all of our important chats. Um, and I was like, hey mom, hey dad, like Stacy told me that she paid her parents rent. Uh, did you want me to start helping out with groceries or like paying bills or paying you rent. <laughs> I shit you not, ladies and gentlemen, this was my mom's reaction. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's gonna pay us rent. Oh, me go 1018. She's gonna pay us rent. Oh. And then my dad on the other side starts making lists. You should pay us for your dance classes as well. And your athletics classes. And that time you started playing guitar but only took three lessons and then quit because it was too hard and your fingers were getting calloused. <laughs> and then I'm like, with interest. She's like, get out of my face. Pay me rent. I'll smack your backhand. <laughs> I almost got a hiding for asking my parents if they wanted help. <laughs> I already warned my siblings. I'm like, don't do it. They're, just... <laughs> They're adults. They got it sorted. <laughs> That's the perks about having older siblings. They have to go through shit before you. It's not the perk when you're the older sibling, though. Because um, now they're all on my case. Ooh, remember that time she wanted to pay rent? Where are you now? I'm like, you know what? Despite you, I'm going to do stand-up comedy and be completely independent. How about that? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Catch me on Sunday night. How about that? <laughs> Me. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, it's so funny, this is going so good, go home and cry. <sighs> I'm just going to close it off, i got one more minute left. Uh, I just wanted to tell you about my failed Tinder attempt. Just real quick, sprinkle it off. So, I told myself I wasn't going to do it because I'm a big romantic, you wouldn't tell it, la 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 la, whatever. Um, I always expect, like, nine in shining armor to come and rescue me, pick me up, whatever. I'm an independent woman, but I also like chivalry, okay? <laughs> So, 
difference. I just, I don't understand Tinder. Like, I don't understand how you can judge a person by, by a photo. Like, you're swiping left and then swiping right. Like, you might have a, he might have had a bad day that day, and that's the only photo he had on his phone, right? Who am I to judge this person? My first Tinder attempt got me hungry because, <laughs> no, literally, I wanted to eat food. <laughs> With a little bit of dessert. I'm not even joking. And then two swipes later, I went to a Kevin, Steve, Jeff, whatever. And then this guy's name was Taco. And I'm like, well, if the theme of today is a Mexican food, I don't know what is. So that was my failed Tinder attempt. And I also don't understand why guys put shirtless pics of them on Tinder. I just don't get it. It's not attractive to me. Like, you do you. Like, I'd rather see you naked in person. Um, and I also I don't get most is when guys put a picture up of them holding like a big fish like <laughs> in what world is that meant to impress me like are you saying you can stand the smell <laughs> you can handle fishy situations I don't know I don't know but I feel like if Tinder was developed in the caveman time that would make complete sense you know me, man, can provide food, woman. And then you're like picking up your, your rock tablets and putting them down, like smashing them if you don't like them and putting them neatly to the side so you don't break them on the other. It's like, oh, this man get food, woman hungry. And you pick the man up over your shoulder and fuck off. 